Hi, this is Butch Patrick. That's right, Eddie Munster, and you're watching Vinny on the Best Damn Movie Show. Well, I saw a movie that Skip didn't see last week, and it was called Little Boy. Now, Little Boy is starring uh, Kevin James and a little another actor that was on Raising Hope, and he was on My Name is Earl. Oh, Michael Rappaport? That's him. Uh, now, this movie takes place... This one takes place in the 50s, and it's an eight-year-old boy that uh, Michael Rappaport and him share uh, a bond together, and they own uh, they own a, a garage. Him, his older brother, and the father own. Uh, it's called Three Sons, and the war. The, the older brother wants to go to the war, but he has learning disabilities. Or is it he has some either learning abilities or he's right footed or something like that, you know? So they deny him and they pick his father to go and fill the place. So the father goes to the war and the mother is home taking care of the kids. <clears throat> well the kid's been bullied in school and he's he's been picked on and uh, he has his hero that he looks to. He's a magician in a comic book. And he comes to town and gives him these powers to move things with his mind. Mm. So the movie's about him trying to bring his father back from the war with his powers. Oh. It's, a, it's an interesting movie. It's based back in the 50s. Uh, the cinematography is fantastic. Uh, it's done in uh, a... It's done in the same town. It's done in Fiji. Uh, it's like, no, 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 I'm sorry, not in Fiji. Let me look it up, because it's done, it's done the same place that they filmed Titanic. Uh, Baja, Mexico, California. Okay. Fox has a studio out there called Baja, uh, Mexico, California. And it's the same place they filmed Titanic. They built this it was a, I, I saw pictures yesterday, it was a desert, and Fox came into the desert and built the studio, but when they built the studio, they built it around the Titanic boat, and they built the boat, they dug a nine foot, nine or ten feet hole down the ground, and built this boat up, and it took them a couple years to build the boat. But well, this is the same place they built the little town that the movie was filmed in. Um, but it was very interesting. Uh, I'm going to give the movie, I gave it a 9 out of 10. I really enjoyed it. I liked it more than I liked Age Adeline. Um, like I said, the cinematography was great. Uh, if you want to check out a movie that's um, a historical piece, uh, you know, and it, it and not really historical, but... It, it shows you the olden times and <clears throat> how things were back then. Go watch the Little Boy. And our last movie we want to talk about is what we saw to, uh, we saw last night. Yeah, Far From the Maddening Crowd, starring Carrie Mulligan. Um, Carrie Mulligan star, uh, plays this woman, um, Mrs. Um, Everdeen. You know, don't don't confuse her with Katniss Everdeen from the. Hunger Games movies. This, no, no, is a, no, no, no. this movie takes place a hundred years in the past, around the 1887, and this is a woman who who kind of comes into a a fortune, but in that time period in England, women aren't allowed to have money. They're not a ha allowed to have property. They're not allowed to be big pillars in the community. They have to ha have a husband, and so it's they have to have a lord and a lady. And she, um, Mrs. Everdeen, or, or Lady Everdeen, Madam Everdeen, whatever you call her, she gets these different men that try to court her. And one of them is her, a, a sheep farmer down the road, and um, he is the first one that asks her if she wants to marry her. And that's, um, and I think it's, Matthias Schoenartz is the guy's name, uh, the actor's name. And then you also have Michael Sheen, 
who plays a kind of a well-off guy. He has a bigger farm than hers, and he's got money, and he's got privilege, but he doesn't have a wife. And he thinks, well, if he puts his farm together with her farm, they'd have a big property, a couple big houses, a lot of animals. They'd be well-to-do family. And um, then there's another guy, um, Tom Sturridge. Now, he is a guy in the British Royal Army. He runs into... Um, oh, he's a, scu he's a scumbag in the movie. Yeah, well, he runs into her. She's just walking in the woods, and he runs into her in the woods because his girlfriend, Patty, or Fatty, or whatever her name was. Fatty. I can't remember what her name was. Stands him up on the altar because they go to different churches. She shows up at a different church than him. And he shows up at a different church. And so that she thinks she stood him up. So he tries to get her to marry him because he's this big military guy. And he tries to sweep her off her feet. This is a romantic. If you are a romantic at heart, if you love books turned into movies, this is a, a based on a novel by Thomas Hardy. Um... And it's a period piece about love and relationships and, and whatnot. I really like this movie. I, I thought the acting by everybody, and especially Carrie Mulligan, was fantastic. And there was a couple parts in there that kind of made me mad. Uh, the first one was that, that, that damn dog. Uh, the, no, the don't main... give it away. No spoilers. Ah, I'm just going to give one spoiler. I'm going to give one spoiler. Beginning of the movie, the, the, the guy had 200 sheep. And I don't know why the sheep listened to this fucking dog. Like, I don't know why the sheep didn't see that there was a mountain. I don't understand. Are sheep that dumb? Yes, they are. And the dog chases all the sheep off the off the mountain, and they all fall and die. And I was so pissed. I was like, you know what? I would shoot that son of a bitch. And what did he do? He got that gun and shot that dog. I would have tossed, you know what I would have done? I would have tossed him off, off the damn cliff. So one of the reasons why she doesn't kind of go with um, that guy is he loses all his land. He loses his, his money because he can't afford to pay his debts without the sheep and without his land. So he sells all his land. So he ends up becoming one of her ranch hands. Um, that's that's Matthias Schoenarts. Um, he becomes one of uh, Mrs. Everdeen's ranch hands. Because she feels sorry for what happened to him and she gives him a job. So what would you give it, Skip? This is a big see it for me. I, I really love this movie. There is slow parts. You're right. There are some slow parts because it's building the story. You know, and I, and I could, I, I could, I'm fine with the slow parts building of the story and building her relationships with the, with the men and stuff. To me, that was fine. I'm going to give this movie, uh, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. We're good. I'm glad to see you take something like this because you're not. This isn't your cup of tea usually. No, but in the beginning, I like the cinematography. I like. Oh wow, was it beautiful? I, I, I like to see some of the. I wonder where it was shot at. Uh, England it had to be, or or New Zealand. I bet. A lot of hills and a lot of valleys, cliffs, cliffs ocean, body ocean, of water, and farmland. I thought it was beautiful. Yeah, it really was. Well, that is our segment on the reviews for this week. We're going to be back next week with more reviews, hopefully. Well, Vinny will probably be back next week with review of Pitch Perfect 2. I, on the other hand, may not be back next week. Skip might be on a bike. Don't. I'm on a bike. Skip will be on a bike <laughs> in the rain. Get my exercise. <laughs> Get my <laughs> oh man! But well, you always find Vinny and me on the best damn movie show as often as possible. Check out thebestmovieshow.com for all the updates and all the new shows that are coming out. And uh, make sure you check out Skip's uh, website. Go ahead, give it to him, Skip. From the fourth row at wordpress.com, and you can catch me on the profile after show. We're going to be doing Marlon Brando this Sunday night. I'm going to throw some uh, new stories up on the Best Day Movie Show, so make sure you check that out. Uh, but until next week, I'm your host, Vince Lospada. Let's get And we'll see you at, at the, the movies. movies. Good night, everybody.